I have gotten so many requests to do a tutorial on how I make my enclosures. So that's what we're gonna do today. This enclosure is for Andre and Groot is moving into Andre's cage. So you're gonna need some supplies. I got this driftwood from Petco. I took some sticks from outside, but I did freeze them, bake them, and take all the bark off just in case there were critters inside. Next, you're gonna need your uh, hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And then I just got some fake flowers and plants from Walmart. And I also have some tool ribbon. Um, so we are going to cut this uh, to size and we are going to hot glue this to the top of the enclosure. I do this because praying mantis like to hang upside down at the top, preferably to molt. So you definitely want some sort of mesh at the top. So we are just gonna hot glue this in and then I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so now I have the tool ribbon hot glued to the top. I do not get fancy with it because my praying mantises do not care. So I have this piece of driftwood. I got it in the right position and now I am just going to hot glue it to the bottom. Okay, now that we have our driftwood in place, I'm gonna put some hot glue all around the base of that driftwood and we're gonna put some moss at the bottom. So not only does it look nice, but I find that it holds it in place a little better. So I am just gonna put moss all over this driftwood and put the other wood pieces in and just have fun with it. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, I have my mesh on top and I have all the sticks right where I want them to be and the moss and now we're ready to put in the flowers. And for flowers, I chose peony flowers. So there is no special formula to making these enclosures and decorating them. You just put things where you think that they would look good. I use a lot of the leaves from the artificial flowers and I just hot glue away. And now the big reveal. So this is my enclosure. I just put sticks where I wanted them to be, moss, fake peonies, leaves, and a fake baby's breath. And this is what I got for Andre. So Andre is a giant shield mantis and he's going to get quite large. So we're gonna just put him in his new enclosure and he's gonna have plenty of space. This will be his forever home. And I think he likes it. And then for Groot, because his antennae are so big, I just wanted him to have more space. So it's a win-win for both of them. Uh, they should be happy.